Today on The Daily Dose, the early years at Jamestown Colony. During the age of exploration, superpower nations like Portugal, Spain, and England scrambled to establish colonies in the Americas, including Great Britain's failed lost colony of Roanoke, prompting English King James I to grant a charter for yet another attempt at colonizing North America. In response, the Virginia Company of London set sail in three ships from Blackwall Point on December 20, 1606. The Susan Constant, the Discovery, and Godspeed, with 105 all-male settlers and 39 crew members, reaching the Chesapeake Bay in late April before settling on a narrow peninsula of land along Virginia's James River on May 13, 1607. Known variously as James Fort, Jamestown, or James City, the settlers at first built a triangular wooden fortification around an armory, a church, and living quarters. And after two ships and all the crew members returned to England for supplies in the summer of 1609, the colonists were slowly felled by hunger, attacks by local Algonquian tribes unified under Chief Powhatan, and an array of illnesses such as typhoid and dysentery, most likely caused by contaminated drinking water from a nearby swamp. Known as the Starving Time of 1609, as winter set in, first-hand accounts tell of desperate people eating pets in shoe leather, eventually leading to the winnowing deaths of 100 settlers amidst horrid reports of starvation and acts of cannibalism. Come the spring of 1610, two ships return bearing 150 new settlers and a cache of supplies, just as the original survivors were about to abandon Jamestown. Following the marriage of John Rolfe and Algonquian Princess Pocahontas in April of 1614, peace and trade between the settlers and native tribes ushered in a period known as the Peace of Pocahontas. And after Rolfe's introduction of a new type of tobacco grown from West Indian seed stock, the Jamestown economy began to flourish after its near extinction four years earlier. As improving conditions boosted confidence, the English began building other settlements up and down the James River, making the early years at Jamestown Colony a shaky start for white settlers in the New World. And there you have it, the early years at Jamestown Colony, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.